CXC math has three parts, paper one, paper two, and the SBA, or you can choose to do paper three. So I thought it was a good idea to talk about what the paper one is like and what you can do to be prepared. Paper 1 has 60 multiple choice questions. It lasts for an hour and 30 minutes and you cannot use a calculator. So remember that part, that part is important. It's basically worth 30% of your overall CXC grade and it covers all of the topics in the syllabus. Let me show you what I mean. It might not do every single thing in detail, but it's going to cover all of the areas. And this tells you that six questions are for number theory, eight are for consumer arithmetic, and so on. So it shows you a very complete breakdown. The paper one also has three types of questions. It has 18 questions that are based on knowledge. Knowledge, in this sense, it basically means questions that only require you to remember something, like a definition, or a rule, or a way to work something out. For example, if there was a question that said if x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 3, find x plus y, that would be a knowledge question. Because all you do is plug 4 into x, 3 into y, and then work it out. 24 questions are going to be on comprehension. And what that means is now we're seeing how you're able to apply the knowledge, how you're able to use what they call algorithms, or processes or steps to figure something out. For example, let's say that you got a question like 2x plus 5 is equal to 10 and you are supposed to find x. To figure that out, you would probably you go so boom, take 5 from both sides and then you go so again, divide both sides by 2 and then you find the value of x. So that's kind of what we talk about when we mean comprehension. The third type of question are reasoning type questions. And in those questions, you apply your math to real world problems, solve patterns, uh, figure out things, analyze things, hypotheses, all of those type of stuff. So let me give you an example. Let's, let's say that what was Jane's original target? I'm going to leave you to figure that out and to put the answer in the comments. But that one would be a reasoning type question because first you're going to have to think about, okay, where's the math in this? If I have to come up with an equation, what is it going to be? How am I going to figure it out? What are the values? What expressions am I going to come with? So it takes a lot more thinking. Now, what can you do to make sure that you get 60 out of 60 for your paper one? Well, one of the things you have to make sure, definitely, is that you can work without a calculator. And one of the ways that you can do that is by practicing some mental math, okay? And you can find that anywhere online. You have to be able to solve problems using your head. So let me show you an example of what I mean. So let's say that somewhere in the problem, you're going to have to work out 500 minus 48, something like that, right? And usually, what you learned, you learned that you're going to, to figure this out, you take 1 from 5, which is 4, carry the 1, and then take it again, that's 9, and then carry the 1 here, and then 10 minus 8 is 2, 9 minus 4 is 5, and 4, you'd write it back here, so your answer is 452. Now that's right, but suppose you made a mistake, suppose you carried 1 where you weren't supposed to, or suppose you you took a really long time to do this. Another way you could do it with the same problem is, so that's 500 minus 48, you could take one from both of the numbers. And when you do that, it's still going to be the same difference. So no, that's going to be 499 minus 47. No, nine minus seven is two, nine minus four is five, and you write back the four. So you still get the same answer, but it's gonna be much faster because you're going to be doing something like this in your head. So that's what we mean when we say mental math.
if you search for my math camp on TikTok or Instagram or on Facebook, then you'll see a lot of these type of stuff that we put on there for your help. So you could definitely check that out. And even if you go onto any of them and just search for mental math tricks, then you'll definitely find it. So that's one thing that can help you to work faster when working without a calculator. The next thing you can do is to practice. Practice, practice, practice. And there are tons of resources online that can help you because paper ones are all over the internet. And the reason why I say you need to practice is because sometimes a few of the paper one questions repeat. So you will see them again. As a matter of fact, on our social media pages, we have a little mini series going on that looks at some of the popular paper one questions and how you can tackle them. Not just what's the answer, but how you can approach them to help you solve other questions that you might see like that. So you can definitely give it a try. You can also practice questions in real time on different sites online. If you come to my math camp, for example, mymathcamp.com, as a matter of fact, I'm going to link a quiz directly down in the description below. And if you come and check it out, then you will be able to do a free diagnostic test. It's kind of like a paper one test, but it can tell you how ready you are for paper one and for CXC. And you'll get your result immediately. So you should definitely check that out. And if you feel like you need more help, then you can check out mymathcamp.com. We have more past paper questions, more quizzes, interactive activities, games, SBA help, workshops, and everything that you need. So try this test. Try this test for free right now and see how ready you are. Do you have any more questions about the paper one? Or do you have any tips that have helped you to prepare? Let us know in the comments below. And if you'd want to know about other parts of the CNC paper, like paper two and paper three and the SBA and stuff like that, then you can check out this YouTube page for more. You can subscribe for updates, like this video if it helped, and share it with somebody else who you think would benefit. Thanks for listening.